Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers Legacy Leader Class Galvatron figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. And then unfortunately with myself being a completionist, we can do some comparisons with the other uses of the mould of this figure and it is a spectacular mold it really is very very good then of course yep that's all four of them then of course we can see how he compares to his generation one self including the one with the same color scheme and of course very quickly we can see how he looks and displays with scourge and cyclonus as well so few things as i start to pack these away i'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please and the other thing is this video is especially dedicated with a huge thank you to channel subscriber kieran thorpe because he sent me a message or well, one of the comments telling me to get to tk max which is where i got this from and it was reduced to 20 pounds now i've always liked this and i've always wanted it but i just couldn't justify the full price tag with the fact that i've obviously already got the other three so huge thank you to kieran thank you ever so much buddy we're also then going to have a look now at this beautiful artwork on this so there's pros and cons to closed boxes um but you can't argue that this isn't stunning stunning artwork so we've got the full i say robot well pretty much robot mode there near enough full just covered a little bit by the alternate mode there which is the cannon then we've got again both on the side just zoomed in a little more um obviously we've now got only the first legacy artwork because of course this was wave one i think it was in all honesty um and the main reason as i say for getting this is the deco is just ever so slightly different uh to the kingdom one obviously it's very different to the other two but of course the kingdom one had the battle damage whereas this is just clean cut so we're going to have a look at that and also for the people who keep pointing out thank you ever so much i've remembered to put the heel sprues out on them all so far Right, we can also see it's going to take 33 steps to transform, and we all know, already know the accessories that are going to come with him. Right, what's the best way to open this guy? Probably at the bottom then, uh, because it is easier. So I know that the closed boxes aren't for everybody, but um, for myself, just because of how much my co collection has indeed grown, it tends to work really well because I can completely flat pack them now, which I know is not to everybody's taste. Uh, but believe you me, as soon as you've been collecting for a few years, it is something that does become a problem. And I suppose if you can flat pack them, you could store them all like in a folder and still really appreciate the beautiful artwork that is on them. Right, let's have a look at this. Now, if memory is going to serve me correct, this box is going to be way too big for the actual figure. Let's have a look. Let's slide him out of here. Oh. So of course he is all tied on, he does have all the accessories, and yep, there you can see he's there. So what I need to do now, purely for to save time, I'm going to set him free from there and come straight back to you. Okay then, so I've just quickly set him free from the packaging, and then I just want to show you a couple of things that you need to do if you just want to go and put him straight ahead on display. So when he comes out of the box, what you need to do with these, you need to fold these over. You've got these cutouts there on the back of his thigh, and just clip not his thigh, his calf, and attach them um, into the back there because, of course, that's how it comes packaged. And again, you need to take the heel sprues out as well. And then finally, these these have got tabs to tab into this hole in the back of his arm. Right there, you heard that snapping. Um, and that's just as how he comes um, out of the box. If you want him, just put him straight on display like so. You're going to pretty much need to do them but i just thought i'd show you that because some people like to do that i used to be doing that all the time to be honest but now of course with these reviews i get a chance to actually play with them and display so of course we've got the cannon and the accessory there as well we've got these two which of course combine to make the ship this is brilliant it's so great you can use it just as a blaster you can put it on his back etc i'm saying that and i can't get it to go together let's try again there we go 
brilliant. And of course, we've got the matrix and the instructions. Right, uh, because obviously I've got three other reviews of this particular mold, I'm just going to not gloss over this, but it's not going to be, um, I suppose, in four parts. It's just going to be like this in robot mode, then in the alternate mode. So let's have a look at him. So this is the main difference. Let's just take the matrix off the kingdom version. Um, as you can see, as I say, there's no battle damage at all. Uh, it doesn't look to be any other difference with regards to the paint apps. Everything looks to be exactly the same. It's just on his chest and on his forearms. I can't see anything else. If I am wrong, obviously, please do correct me in the comments. I'm not. Um, it, it all helps us learn, to be honest. I was going to say, if you want to correct me and I'm wrong, I accept it. Um, but I can just see there, to be honest, everything else looks identical. Head sculpt, which I think is brilliant. Um, in fact, I'm just going to pop him to the side for the moment, just to give this guy just a brief once. If you don't own one of these moulds, I'd highly recommend getting this because, again, it is heavily reduced everywhere at the moment. Right, the head you can see is beautiful. Very, very detailed, fully articulate, up and down, all the way around. Shoulders are the same. Now, with this figure, again, if you don't own one, it's a really robust mould. It's really thick. Exactly that word. Robust is probably the best, to be honest. It just feels weighty. It feels really sturdy. It just feels really good. You've got a waist swivel. We've got hip skirts here, so you can take the legs back forwards to the side you can see you've got your knee bend you've got your ankle tilt your ankle rock you've got your wrist swivel you've got absolutely everything you would expect for a leader class figure and he is exactly that as i say the detail on him is brilliant uh, he comes with quite a few accessories as well so we can attach the cannon onto his forearm you can even put it higher up if you want but of course it just looks way better on his forearm like so and then what i've done with this in fact what i've done with them all is i've put the separate guns on the back but you can if you want to and i might do that with this just purely so i can display slightly differently and to be honest that doesn't look that bad that looks better than i thought the only thing i don't really like is the matrix hanging over now i just wanted to double check yes they're identical because i just pulled them off um the kingdom version which is this guy um it does just sort of rest over his head which i think looks a little better if you attach it to the front via that tab which is i suppose what you're supposed to do in the alternate mode it just doesn't really fit it'll go in there and then it sticks up out of the way as you can see it doesn't really go it's the only negative thing about this figure and it's not even a negative because it's not necessary to even keep it there you can completely take it off or as i said you can have it just sort of hanging um out of the way you can then if you want to as well you can then bring this up you can put it right behind his head if you want it depends i've seen people display it differently in the artwork though it is always up i think that's come off as well actually there we go into position like so right then let's do a few more comparisons so the first version of him was this the kingdom one um then i believe i'm pretty sure actually i might have got this totally wrong but i think we got the hasbro pulse one next and that is one of the main reasons why i didn't get the other two just because at the time they were full price and i couldn't really justify it so of course this one's brilliant because it's exactly that translucent plastic and it's like the behold version of him which of course where unicron's formatting him and then we've got the generation select one which uses a different paint scheme it's got a different blaster it's got loads of different things and this of course homages the original generation one toy um again loads more detail on the actual videos individual videos for these i'm just going to move these out of the way for now and I'm just going to do a few more comparisons before we do have a look at him in his alternate mode. So there was actually two versions of the Gen. Well, not at the time there wasn't. Of course, the original G1 was in this colour scheme, which of course matched this version here. But then in Japan, a few years later, in fact, quite a few years later, I think it was 2005, they did release this version. So it's good to do a bit of a comparison with that one, which you can see. And also it just reminds you how big the Generation 1 toys were. They were huge. I've just noticed that's in the air. Perhaps I should do that with these, to be fair. Yeah, it does look a lot better, doesn't it? But yeah, that's a Generation 1 size toy. It is massive. All right, let's move him out of the way and let's just do one very other quick display idea um, this is of course cyclonus i've gone with the kingdom one as well because of course there's redecos of this mold and i've gone with the actual scourge mold from series studio series 86 because again 
there's a sweep use of the mold which i think the color scheme more represents uh, the g1 so i've done that again in another video so leader class figure voyager class figures um, and i suppose if i can just grab a deluxe one right now just to give you an idea of the size this one's a newer one um, but you can see that again he is warranting and commanding his leader class price point not just because of the accessories mainly down to his transformation the articulation and he is quite a bit bigger right there's nothing else to say about him in this mode let's have a look at him in his alternate mode okay then we're back and as you can see he's in his alternate mode already quick apologies no transformation process on this video uh, main reason is as i've already mentioned it is quite an intricate it is a very very good transformation process but it is also very time consuming so in order to keep the length of the video down i've not got it in this but it is separately uploaded if you want to watch it and also i suppose if you're out looking to purchase this now maybe you don't want it spoiling for yourself so i've pretty much done all the main parts what i've got to then do is take the shoulder cannon separate this put the main cannon in the front that just fits in there like so you can in fact still stick i think a blast effect in there as well because it's got the attachment then this of course we're then going to pop on the back like so you can see how that is fitting and all in fact lining up and then this is what i meant about the matrix coming over in this particular mode so what you're looking at doing is then attaching this into that cutter in the chest it's slightly better there you can see i think it's much better there to be honest uh, these on the side i don't really think it makes it look any better however of course i am going to show you um, i didn't actually show you this in the first part of the video main reason is to say i've done it in all the others so if you want to see as i say these molds in more detail then you can have a check out of some of the other videos right so what we've got here is we've got a tab on the side and we've got cutouts inside there and i'm trying my best just to quickly line this up but obviously with it being a new figure i'm struggling as you can see right why is it not going in maybe i need to have a look at this particular one and see if they're on different sides it looks like they are there you go so that's gone in that side and this one is going to is it going to it's probably also a combination there we go of the fact that it's a brand new toy and it's got no play wear whatsoever so i don't know what you think as i say that's what it's supposed to look like that's what it does look like for me maybe it's just because i'm too much of a you know a g1 sort of type person i just think it doesn't need can we see it on top of there yeah there we go it doesn't really need these on the side i think it looks menacing and good enough to be honest i think I'm just wondering if you can actually attach it you probably could actually yeah look there's some five millimeter ports around there which of course with the back of his arms i've not done this in any of the videos to be fair and you know what this actually works it does work um quite well i've never done that at all but yeah surprisingly enough you could attach them via the bottom you don't need to it's again just something or even there on the sides you can see all the five millimeter ports there's so many different things on here that you can do with these that's another good reason why i really really like these to be fair and then the bonus sort of it is a bit of a cheeky mode to be honest it is just if you want to use it as a pistol which of course you could do in generation one all we've done is just folded up the platform at the back um and you can hold it as a handle obviously they're never going to advertise this because uh, of course they're not allowed to make guns anymore um but then what you've got there is yeah you are supposed to perhaps put people um on the back uh, let me just grab a figure let's go with a random deluxe star screen from fall of cybertron so if you wanted to he could of course then be powering this or driving along there we go on the back of it that actually works quite well to be fair especially with the color scheme uh that is just one of the ways that you can display it i'll be very surprised though with this figure looking as good as it is if you did want to display it in the alternate mode again unless you're a bit daft like me and you've got more than one of them but as i say that's pretty much where i'm going to wrap this up i've already mentioned it but just in case you do want to see any more detail on this mold and the other versions all of the other three reviews are available on this channel and indeed as i say the transformation process video is separately uploaded but in the meantime guys thank you very much for watching and of course take care 
just a quick little additional part at the end there is of course one thing that i did miss out and that is of course the comparison with the generation one original now once again the generation one original is huge let's see if i can get these all on camera so i need to pan that down and then this is the kingdom one above it so there you go there's the there they are they're both they're both amazing toys and this is a good homage to the original but in a different league for articulation and everything else and okay it hasn't got the um the sound and effects which this one had but again they don't really do that anymore it would be cool though if they did do that i'd even buy another version of this if it had the sound effects like the original g1 did but there you go guys sorry i missed it out but i thought i'd just pop it in the end very quickly for you to see the original one as well there we go take care